Good morning, traders. It is Friday, May the 10th. Taking a look at the charts, we have the U.S. dollar index, and it, things seem to be unfolding with the dollar, kind of how we were planning. We've got a nice, strong run to the upside. We've been seeing the dollar more or less consolidate here for some time. It's drifted all the way back down, hit this red support zone a couple times, had a nice bounce, came back, tested a little deeper, and we started to see a nice, strong little impulse wave that has now found some... Uh, support and has really started to move up yesterday and again this morning now we do have a previous high we've got a clear we have really kind of come straight up to that area and we're testing it we've kind of stopped there as that is the next resistance we could see the dollar flag around here for a little bit uh, maybe pull back a bit but overall this pattern looks as though it's going to break to the upside and we could see a fairly strong run in the US dollar uh, going forward and again if that happens we're probably going to see continued weakness in in stocks and commodities now the strong move up in the dollar is putting a lot of pressure on precious metals and crude oil this morning so let's just jump to them real quick here is the crude oil chart you can see we've been trading up at this resistance zone this down trend line we've kind of chopped around here for a couple of days I pointed this out uh, yesterday or the day before that usually when it gets up to these tops it'll usually trade sideways for four or five trading sessions kind of stall out and then more or less start to fall to the downside so now we're just starting to get a breakdown this morning and prices dropping uh, crude oil is down almost I think two percent overall downward target uh, we can draw a couple different levels here we've got a support trend line around the 93 if it keeps coming straight down here at which point it could bounce and if it does come down to that level we could see it uh, have a little bit of a bounce and kind of form some type of bearish pattern, a bear flag, and then break this neckline with a possible mini head and shoulders forming. And we could see it come all the way back down to the 90. Simple measured move is pretty much the neckline from underneath the head to the top of the head. You take that pattern, you flip it to the downside, and uh, that's that's the distance that you could get from the, the neck, uh, neck trend line break here. So that's kind of where we come down, and of course that coincides with this previous pivot low, this breakdown zone, this little pivot high here, and of course another key pivot low there. So that brings us right down into this 90 zone, which will act as the next major, major support zone. But we're far from there. This is just kind of what I'm thinking is likely to unfold. If we do get a bearish pattern here, we'll be looking to get short crude oil for this uh, sharp pullback. Looking at natural gas just real quick, not looking to get involved in it. It looks like it's trying to put in a little bit of a bottoming pattern here. Uh, it's trading up this morning. Usually it does the inverse of what stocks are doing. So um, more or less stocks are trading flat this morning, but we are seeing some uh, move up in natural gas. Very small move uh, while other commodities are all selling off. Now taking a look at precious metals, they're kind of big moving today. Gold is down 2.5%. Uh, starting to really break down if we just go to the daily chart which is the chart that I've been pointing out for a while here it looks as though we're finally starting to get that rollover and we've got this inside candle day where it's just drifted up it's traded around there and now we're starting to get uh, a sell-off now we, we might see it trade around still for some time but overall uh, at any time we could get one sharp drop that brings us right back down to the bottom of this channel to the uh, 1350 1330 area so be aware of that if the bottom falls out um, we could see gold and silver tumble sharply lower uh, significantly lower but we'll have to see how that plays out it depends on how fast the price comes down the volume levels and um, of course it, it could easily come down and pierce the bottom of this and pierce this low run some stops and then have a nice strong recovery which would be very bullish but we'll have to see how that starts to uncover overall precious metals are still in a very clear downtrend and this is simply another bear flag starting to look as though it could head lower looking at silver let me just grab the silver chart here here's the silver chart same thing silver's heading back down it's pretty much at a key support zone if it does start to break down even more there's potential for it to, to uh, come all the way back down test these lows at the 22 um, key the next key support will be the 2250 but this could drop all the way back down to possibly the twenty dollars per ounce level if uh, the bottom does fall out looking at gold miners and silver miners they all pretty much move together 
we are going to have a move down a pretty simple here trend is clearly down is forming another bear flag which I've been pointing out for some time and uh, prices are still pointing to the trend is down so uh, prices still point to lower prices this is just a, a simple bear flag we've got to move down bear flag 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 uh, trend clearly down so the odds are always going to be pointing you, you got to trade with the trend uh, this this we're still in a major bull market within uh, precious metals but we are uh, we have had a significant breakdown and if prices don't recover here soon in the next month or two and if they don't recover well then we'll be actually in more of a bear market and we'll be looking to short these uh, these plays going forward but overall with everything coming down into key support zones in the long-term charts not looking to really short but looking at this chart this morning we're gonna see miners down there about two down about two and a half percent I think this morning so far and they could really start to uh, have another nosedive and shake the rest of the market out all the long positions before it puts in a significant low looking at the uh, bond chart here's the price of bonds bonds have continued to pull back this morning they're actually down significantly um, this is kinda of telling me I got a feeling that we're, we're very close to a significant top in the equities market if we didn't see it yesterday more or less we're seeing a nice big wave of money flowing out of bonds uh, last night and this morning and if we actually go look at the utilities sector big move down yesterday it is now coming down to support everybody has piled out of uh, moved all their money out of utilities which is a safe play a safe haven type play and bonds and we've seen money rotating into equities and of course in the morning in the SP 500 futures we've been seeing a strong selling volume and then in the afternoon the uh, the selling dissipates and the market the the herd seems to be just buy prices back up so it seems everybody's rotating out and this could be uh, a pretty significant uh, point for the SP 500 for a nice pullback coming going forward here so we're going to see how things start to unfold if we do get some type of bearish pattern with a very good risk reward ratio we may take a stab at a downside but at, at this time we don't have that pattern just yet looking at the SP 500 daily chart this is the SPY you can see we're continuing to trend up we're trading up flirting up at uh, an overbought territory and we've got this big gap fill very easy for the market to pull all the way back to a 20 day moving average which it'll have this gap fill it'll have support here and it's got support from this previous high so there is potential for a significant pullback but right now prices still continue to grind uh, upwards and sideways very similar to what we saw here you see a strong move up it'll kind of chop sideways and then it can just continue to move higher <clears throat> so you don't really want to pick a top because uh, we've had a very similar start to overbought territory here which it just continued to move higher uh, that being said this gap and this big surge we had a nice big surge of volume buying volume and we had good news usually that creates a kind of a blow off top and a last final surge before the market puts in a top so overall we're not looking to get involved unless we get a bearish pattern to take a, a probing play in a possible top or we need a strong pullback into an oversold territory and support before we look to pick up a long for a bounce. Taking a look at the futures this morning of the SP 500, so you can see where we're trading. Here are the last two trading sessions, and really we have gone nowhere. We're uh, just trading in this great big range, very choppy. And yesterday's price action was. Uh, right here we had a pop up in the morning some followed by some very strong selling continued to grind around we had a light volume push to new highs and then price got slammed with some really strong selling volume and uh, it got really choppy here going into the close the bulls and bears were struggling uh, for control in overnight trading we've just been continuing to trade within this range just chopping around popping and dropping uh, we're starting to get a little unstable here and it looks as though there's the selling pressure is starting to pick up and that uh, stocks could start to struggle here now again a big chunk of that is because the US dollar is breaking to the upside that doesn't help uh, stock prices uh, US stock prices that much so if the dollar does continue to rip to the upside it'll likely put some more pressure on US stocks anyways that's it for this morning and I'll talk to you a little bit bye bye